Good morning from the Peralta Trailhead. Today my brother and I are gonna be hiking out to Bluff Spring Mountain. So here's our first look at Bluff Spring Mountain. It's not the highest point right there, it's the one further back. You know, the good thing about today is we're gonna have this all to ourselves, most likely. Only one other person was signed in at the trailhead. It's May 24th today, it's a Monday. It's uh, that time of year where people are starting to get scared of the heat. But today's high, I think, is only supposed to be 92 or 94 or something like that. So we'll have no problem. I brought five liters of water, more than enough. And uh, we're just taking our time anyway, but it's comfortable right now. Well, the trail is met up with the wash now. We'll follow this for a good ways. And then a little further up the Terrapin Trail, we'll branch off to the left. That's the way you can approach Weaver's Needle from the east. But we'll continue straight on Bluff Spring Trail. This is trail number 235, I'm pretty sure. We're taking a break here in the shade of the one high point behind us and then just admiring the views. Okay, we've reached the junction with the Terrapin Trail, so we'll continue on Bluff Springs this way. All right, so the trail continues through that gap there, but we're gonna head off trail right here. Okay, that looks to be the summit up there, so it's probably less than half a mile. All right, I'm gonna get the 360 view up here. Our time up was an hour and 46 minutes. I think about 35 minutes from where we left the trail, somewhere around there, so it wasn't too long off trail. Another nice vantage point here in the superstitions. There's Pickett Post Mountain and that high point there I'm not sure of. And then right in the middle is King's Crown Peak and then the bigger ones in the back are the Pinals. The one in the foreground here is Coffee Flat Mountain. And then some of the highest points, the highest points in the superstitions back there, I believe. So Mountain Mountain is the highest point. I would assume it's one of those up there. I'm not 100% sure though. We have Tortilla Mountain right here, which is on our list, one of our goals. And 
then the four peaks right there. And then there's Malapace Mountain. We summited that about three months ago. Just running my head down a little bit lower. And I can see Battleship Mountain right in the center. There's Blacktop Mesa and Palomino Mountain and then Black Mesa. Weaver's Needle here. Here's a look at the summit of Weaver's Needle. I'm zoomed in as far as I can. Cool. So much to do. Mountains in every direction. So many challenges. Even just right here in the superstitions, you can't go wrong. There's just so much to see and explore. So many peaks left to do. This is just another step in the long-term goal of summiting every named peak in the superstitions. Which may take years, but that's fine. One more look at the landscape up here. So the fire hit here, but I don't think there would have been too much vegetation anyway. It would have been pretty manageable. But man, there's nothing now. It's just, it's really nice to walk through. Okay, we're back on the trail. We came down from right there in the middle. The bees are hard at work here. Just beautiful in here. We are kind of taking our time and enjoying the scenery now. Here's a nice look at Miner's Needle and then Barkley Basin down here. There's a lot of cool high points and rock formations out there that look pretty neat. Yeah, Barkley Basin here. Okay, we made it back to the trailhead. It was 6.8 miles, uh, 2,500 feet of elevation gain, and four hours and 15 minutes. So that's it from here at the Peralta Trailhead. That was the hike of Bluff Spring Mountain in the beautiful Superstition Wilderness.